Bigger kids, bigger problems. Smaller kids, smaller problems. True or false? Calling false. You're calling false. Calling false on that okay. one. Okay, yep. let's go. Okay. Um, well, maybe also because I was an older mom. Okay. Everybody. Yep. I found like the first couple of years intensely difficult because it was... Um, it was like running 120 kilometers an hour and then hitting a brick wall. Yeah. I wasn't maybe as mentally prepared as I thought I, I could have been. <laughs> <laughs> are we ever? And also when yeah. you're like when you are independent until you're in your early right. 40s, you are selfish. You, everything is your way. Um, you know, even marriage was hard because I was like, now I have to. There's another human negotiate in my house. And compromise. Yeah. Yeah. And then a third person comes along and it's oh. like, you work for me. I found it really hard because a lot of things happen. I was isolated from my friends who were either not married or didn't have kids. Mm -hmm. um, I, like I no longer kind of fit in and I was right. no longer invited girls. Yeah. Um, so that changed. My career got put on hold. I was very passionate about yeah. my career. I was lonely. I found it lonely and I, I found it hard to be needed that much. Oh, I think you I think you hit on something interesting there, kind of the older mom thing, because I think you had your own like life and career for like yeah. decades. Yeah. At this point. Decades. And then suddenly this like eight pound human is totally in control of every your every move. I know. Pint sized dictator, right? Like you yeah. can't Kim Il -il. So there's that. You're so used to things being a certain way. Yes. Yes. And then that just gets so disrupted. And I'm not yeah. gonna lie. When I, because I had babies, I had babies in my 20s and in my late 30s. Like, yeah. you're tired. Like, my babies yeah. in my 30s, it was a lot, it felt a lot different to when I had a baby when I was like 20, 29. Did it? Oh, it oh, really did. I don't want to hear that. So, <laughs> you know, be between like having had, you know, your own life for so long and also being a little bit older, you, yeah. I, think, I think it would be hard for sure. The problems that my baby had seemed because also I only had one so mm -hmm. like I said um, it's you know my first time through all the time mm -hmm. I never had a chance to adjust and then say on oh, the second one oh I know what's coming right. I never know what's coming so right. um, so I never know exactly how to deal with it so I found um, like you know a temperature uh, like an illness and anything would put me into panic mode okay because she also was a baby she couldn't communicate she couldn't say oh I have this like throat thing, yeah but I think it's gonna be okay so I I had a hard time dealing with someone who couldn't communicate with me. I get that. Yeah, I, I always find it better when I feel I feel like I can really just relax once my kids can't communicate because then I know if they're being treated well. Yeah. Know, like even leaving them with babysitters or whatever, you want them to be able to tell you how it went. Yep. You know, and how things are going at school or yep. wherever. You know, daycare. So I also agree. False. I have had a lot of little kids, and uh, you know, one time when I had my fifth child, my eldest child was six. Yeah. So wow. you know, there was yeah, there was a lot of That's little humans. A lot. And it was a lot of work. Um, I I gotta say though, I did enjoy it. Um, but people always said to me, they're like, just enjoy this because it's gonna get so much harder when they get older. And now those kids are older. And you know, my kids, the youngest is eight, and I have three kids in high school, and my life is way easier. Yeah. It is way easier. There is no comparison. I mean, I get a full night's sleep. Uh. Like people can make they get their own food. They, you know, they're fun to talk to. They're interesting. Their friends come around and yeah. they're engaging. Like maybe my, my kids aren't like, I, they're not, they are nice kids. So I'm not. You're very nice I kids. don't have like kids eye rolling and slamming doors or any yeah. of that nonsense. Your kids are definitely like the sound of music, the Von Traps. But they yeah, minus the curtain thing. Well, no, they're, they're kids like any others. Don't get me wrong. They're, they can be a pain. <laughs> They can absolutely be a pain. But some of the stuff that people always think about with teenagers and like mean girls and this and that, I, I don't, I'm not dealing with any of that. So no. maybe that's why it's not so, so horrific. When they're little, if you kind of let them be independent and start making decisions and choices and not coddling them too much, then they 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 get the practice too to do it better. Yeah. To make better choices when they're yeah, older too. Yeah, I think you're right. I would say like today's decision makers, problem solvers are tomorrow's leaders. Like so, we got to give them a give them a little so room to fail. Let them little fail. kids, little problems. Yeah. But those problems will be big problems if you don't let little kids problem solve. Yeah. No, I have to say like I see a lot of you know moms with you know two kids or more mm -hmm. or and 
their lives are crazy and stressful and I thought motherhood would always be like that for right. me. Right. Um, but I do, I'm at six and you know what, My I have my life back. Oh, it's so different. Yeah. I love it. I would like to chirogenically freeze her yeah. at this age. Because it's a lovely age too. It's a yeah. great age, yeah. but you know what, I, I don't have a lot of stress in my life. I mm. don't, I'm not, I'm busy taking her places, but mm. she's one kid. Like. Yeah. I, you know, she also goes to visit two so sets you of grandparents. So you weren't at the hockey arena seven times on no, Saturday? No, I would never be. You will never <laughs> see me at the hockey arena. My kid's going to be in competitive finger painting, and it starts at noon now. on Saturdays. <laughs> you know what? For all you young moms watching, it does it does get easier. That's been my experience. It gets be- like it gets easier, but I actually, this at this point in motherhood, I frigging love this point in motherhood. Yeah. I... I not that I didn't always love being her mother, but I found motherhood a real struggle. Oh, yeah. And especially yeah. because I I own my career, like I run my own little business. Mm-hmm. I found it really, really hard. I wasn't sure. It can be sure. disruptive to every yeah. other part of your life. I wasn't yeah. sure I was ever going to see the light of day mm-hmm. or, or ever have my normal life back. And I have a mm-hmm. new normal now. Yep. But I love the new normal. Yeah. 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 It's great. Yeah, it sure is. Sure. Yeah. So what about you? How are you finding it? What are the ages of your kids? Did you find babyhood awesome or hard? And are you enjoying the two years? Are you they, are you getting driven crazy by your teens? Are they called the terrible tweens? Are they? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> or do you have a three nature? <laughs> <laughs> well, let us know in the comments, and be sure to let us know what you want us to talk about and subscribe. Yeah. See you see next you time. Next. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>